Vino up, coming straight from the hip, but we're coming Clint Eastwood. Long glass today. Eastwood had the long gun. Jesse James, short and quick. He was from the hip too, though. Here we go. How we doing? Happy Memorial Day. It's Vino up time. Well, well, well. Who wants a pulled pork? I'd like one, but I don't want to go in and out of the house, checking the barbecue, doing that. Only made on usually like a Saturday or a Sunday. No, how about a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, or Friday pulled pork, right? One that we could put in in the morning by the time we come home, it's game time, ready to eat. But well, we're going to show you, and we're going to show you a little barbecue sauce that we have made our own over the last seven, eight years, I'd say, a little under 10 years. Now, I, we do open bottles of barbecue sauce once in a while, I will admit. When we do this pulled pork, this is how we do it. And th this is masterful. We bring it everywhere, and I mean everywhere. Whoever we've been to a party with, we have something going on in the summer, boom, grenades, pulled pork. Here we go. Let's dance. Start with some ketchup, about a full cup of ketchup, okay? Bammo. Sweep it in there, sweepers. Know all your unions. Now we're going to come in with onion powder, okay? Get out of here. Dumpers. Granulated garlic, we've talked about it, so good. Worcestershire, let it drip, let it nay nay. We use our lingo. Here's the brown sugar. That thing is full, I don't know what to call it, a cup or whatever, it's full. We use it, if you want less, go ahead, go less. But it's gonna, you need a little more sometimes if you don't like too much heat, because we came in with a nice amount of cayenne here, okay? Then we go pepper, then we go Apple cider vinegar, a great base to any little barbecue sauce, okay? Little regular mustard, rags. It's like you're at a hot dog stand. But dosari, you know the game. Lemon juice, good little lemon juice too, I'll tell you what it is. And that's that there. Oh, and here's that main little part. While I'm stirring, I mix in the honey. I mix in the honey. And that'll sweeten up that cayenne. Again, if you want more cayenne or more whatever, Okay, we, we didn't want it. We don't like cooking too hot around here. We like to add to it, especially since I'm the only one that likes hot. Ella, a little bit. My wife and my son do not want to eat spicy. We want flavor. We don't want so much spice. Okay, now I whip. Okay, like Devo. I'm up three pounds. I have to admit it. It was an addiction to donuts. I have no idea. I'm running two miles a day. I'm like, how am I gaining weight? It's the donuts. I'm looking like Bookman from Good Times. What was his nickname? I'm not going to tell you. You tell me. One of my favorite shows. Bookman, good times. That's what I'm looking like. Tell me what I am on Facebook, Twitter, whatever we have. YouTube, Instagram. And I'm whipping, okay? What a whipper. Okay, now we're here. Now we're, is, we're going slow cooker, okay? This is something anybody could do. Where's my vino? This is something anybody can do, okay? You don't have to go outside and screw with barbecues or smokers or be a hero and say, I just want a barbecue competition. No, I'm looking to eat. So let's eat. Four pounds of a pork shoulder. How beautiful. Thank you, International. Four pound pork shoulder. Is Got it, it bone in or not? It is a bone. And you'll know when this is done, when it's cooking, because you'll be able to just almost sink your hands through that bone. That's how nice. All I'm doing it is putting it in the slow cooker. Right? Little pepper. You can do it outside the slow cooker too. I'm that guy. Puts it in. Ooh, my, ooh, touchers. Hello. Look out. Here comes the Bosari. Oh, yeah. They'll be using it in Franklin, Tennessee. Don't worry. You got it all over. I just go like that just because that's just what I do. Touch the pork. Got to touch. Got to wash up there. That's just me. Crazy. We got a Howie Mandel cook over here. Now I come in. And the red rain is falling, Peter Gabriel. Oh, here we go. Look at this, that'll be on the ground soon. Here comes the red rain. See it? How nice, how nice. Oh man, I'll take that, thank you. Sounds Hands. like you're going through puberty. Peter Brady, I'm squeaksville right now. I have no, no idea why, I'm squeaking. Okay, here we go. Now we're down like, you know what? Mix it around. Look at how nice that looks, okay? This is gonna go in three hours, probably. At what, what, what again? High. High, three hours, if you have a pres pressure cooker. If you don't. It's not a pressure cooker. Power, what do you call it again? What do you call it? A steamer. <laughs> a crock pot. A crock pot, 
Right. Look at how what she does. She knew she had me stumped. So what does she do? She roasts me over the fire. Chestnuts. Here we go. I think this goes like this. Hello. Oh, oh boy. Pressure cooker. Ooh. It's not a pressure. I cooker. said crock pot. Okay. We've never even seen a pressure. Here we go. That's all we do. Okay. So everybody who wants to be this barbecue champ, guess what? I'm gonna have better pulled pork sandwiches than you. Okay. And you are going to have better pulled pork sandwiches if you do it this way or in the oven. Again, if you want to go to the grill and be a hero and drink and sit in front and flex your chest, go ahead. A lot of ladies don't like doing that. We have a big fan base for the ladies. And basically, you don't have a chest to flex. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. The push-ups and sit-ups, I've been doing a lot of them. Okay? Sure. Now, we put it on high and we watch it just cook. Now, we will be back to show you our little onion topping. Thank you. Vino up, coming at you Eastwood style long, I told you, here we go. Remember that onion uh, little mixture I was telling you about? Those are those crispy onions you love on top of pulled pork. We make them too. Bam, we got something deep right. You thought I forgot. Joke on you, Vinny Aiello almost came to the house, I'm sure. These are Jordan Cavs Edition. Why? They're the Jordans they dedicated, they dedicated this Jordan to when Michael Jordan hit that shot over Elo. Look at how gorgeous. Very rare Jordan. Maybe a lot of people have them. I don't think they do. They call them the Cavs edition. They're the fours with the old Cleveland Cavalier colors. Boom. That was a big last dance shot. Had to show them. Okay, back at it. Here's those onions. All I did was cut up one onion, right? Took some flour, coated the onions with the flour. That's all I did. Okay, we put buttermilk in there. We didn't have buttermilk. What did I do? I said, what do you do if you don't have buttermilk? What could be a substitute, right? I didn't just throw in the towel, game over, see you tomorrow. No. Look at this. I made my own buttermilk. All they said was make, put, take some milk and put a lemon in it. Little ancient Chinese secret right there. So I'm just coating that. Okay. Not too much. And I'm going to let this sit after. A little more now. See? See how there's no measuring. Just make it and take it. Taste while you cook. You have to taste while you cook. I'm taste one of those. No, I'm not gonna taste uh, that. <laughs> I'm gonna taste that. Oh, is she funny? Pepper. Little granulated garlic. I love granulated gar. Little deep, deep pocket right there. Here's our secret weapon. Everybody's using now. Newcomers. We got a lot of newcomers. Okay, a lot of new friends on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram. This is Bosari. We introduced it in early episodes. Everybody's using it. Why can't you? Okay, you could. Now here's our heat, cayenne. You know we love cayenne. Very similar to our little fry recipe we had, remember? Okay, now I'm gonna let this sit for about a half hour. I'm gonna show you guys how we fry them up. Jordan 4's here. Vince, don't worry, you're fine. You'll be able to get through the episode. Thank you, look at how nice that looks. Beautiful, see you soon. Eastwood, vino up, low from the hip. Here we go. So. I keep them a little thicker, right? Look at that. Heard that, Chris? Fantastic. I keep them that way so they cook. I was light, a little flour. A guy that doesn't measure, sometimes you're gonna be light. So what did I do? I added some flour to my mixture, okay? I did not even, see? My oil, that's a vegetable oil in there. When they fry up, I'm just showing you. So I batter them, put them in. There's a thin guy. Some are thin, some are thick. Okay, just like you're dropping them in. Remember our eggplant? If everybody watch our eggplant, dropping right in. Beautiful. Okay, this is gonna go right on top of that beautiful pulled pork. Camera was off. We can't do stop. We cannot stop fighting today. Again, when we're in the kitchen, it's unbelievable. It's crazy. Obviously, she's the best cleaner, and I don't clean. I don't know. I don't get it. Here we go. Those are going to fry up. Just show them fry up. Brown them. When they start browning, you're going to flip them. All you're doing is taking your tongs and flipping. See that strength? Instead of being so stringy. Why do you, you have to flip them if they're submerged in oil? Because I, I flip. Always have been a Texas flipper. We've talked about that before. I want to cook both sides through. This is, oh, we got to burn. That's a legitter. Oh, okay. Okay. Now, when they're done, remember Johnny Ladadle from the south side coming in low? 
Oh, we come with him. But he ain't right. They ain't done yet. They're not done. I shouldn't say ain't ski. Not a word. Okay. All we're doing is flipping them. This is strength in onions, not those stringy little ones. They're gonna look gorgeous, okay? We will show you our finished product when they go on our pulled pork, Vino up. Vino up, coming Eastwood, how we doing? Well, 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 please show it. Not a great camera woman sometimes, does not show it. That's the pulled pork, Shredders Union, local 177. We shredded it, looks perfect. How we doing? I'm gonna show you how I fill them up. We know filling them up, okay? I go with the Toronto Bambino roll. Thank you, Toronto, always giving us our bread. Okay, I fill up those Bambino rolls. It's an Italian roll, so good with the pulled pork. We'll change the whole way people eat pulled pork. I'm telling you, you, won't, you, you have no idea, okay? Now we go to sauce, our own barbecue sauce. Put the open pit away, game over. It's been 100 years open pit, we're done with that. Now we got these Toronto Hawaiian rolls. How Michael, Ella, Maria like it. I, I am more the, the Italian roll. But these Toronto rolls fill up really nice too, okay? Now you're going to see what we do with our onions too. Remember we cooked those too. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Onions. Toppers. 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 We just sprinkled the infield with onions. This, I need a little little dress right there okay oh boy on the floor okay now look the soak up of this bun ah. cider came right in the side when i tell you i did it again i did it again came us up shout out mouse's family thank you this is so good since i'm the only one eating this bonk dip it's fantastic Outstanding. Make it the way I did it. It'll shred right off. I didn't have time for you guys to see me just picking it off a bone. Didn't have to be picked off. I picked it up and just shredded it right into here. Bonkers. Okay? Fantastic. I got to take one bite of the Hawaiian just because they like it like that. Oh, my God. Can you hear him chew? I could. But this is fantastic. The onions. The pulled pork, your own home. You could actually say you made barbecue sauce. Who's doing that? Not me. Right. I am. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. Now, the pulled pork, fantastic. Make that. Little treat. You know, people bring us stuff. We tell you about it. My favorite pistachio cake brought by a good friend, Lisa Salvaggi Gutierrez. When you know her as a Salvaggi, Lisa Gutierrez. Oh, I got a little barbecue sauce. I mean, pulled pork. I'm wiping my own lip. Jerk. Okay, lippers. Here we go. Because because you got a smart. You had lip. nothing on your lip. Yeah. Okay. I thought you were saying you got something on your lip. No, I mean, barbecue you're sauce a and pulled pork. What do you think's on there? Okay. No, I'm not. Okay. Lisa brought me this beautiful, beautiful. My favorite pistachio pie for dessert. Powdered sugar on top. Melting in my mouth. Berwin's finest. Berwin's been quiet. Lisa Savaggi, James Fergia. Only about the two Berwin kid people. You're really bouncing on this. Uh, we need a little more help out of Berwin. All these neighborhoods I'm shouting out. I'd love to shout out Berwin. Okay, so pulled pork. Easy as can be. One of the best sandwiches you'll try. Again, you find a taste. If a taste was open tomorrow, I'd say I'm selling pulled pork sandwiches. I win. I'd sell the most sandwiches in the whole taste. Next. Lisa's dessert. Thank you, Lisa, for bringing it to the table. My favorite dessert. What a surprise. I, 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 I mean, so humbled again. Come in, Clint Eastwood. Straight low from the hip. Thank you, guys. Make this stuff. We will see you. Vino up.